Milford TV and WMRC present the 2013 WMRC Local Music Awards. Brought to you by Threads Unlimited, Three Olives Vodka, Narragansett Beer, The Tradesman, The Sardinia Family Dunkin' Donuts, Pins Entertainment, Red Moon Photo Booth, Celestial Effects, Gorilla Nuts Studio, Accent Limousine, Tim Rice Photo, DJ Ron Osier, Dr. Roof, A&J Automotive, Julio's Liquors, The Angel Share, Braza Construction, Music and Arts, Masters Touch, Andrea Larson Ellsworth Remax, Rivera Athletic Center, and Pajama Joe Cafe. With performances by Toll Booth Willie, Zero Drip, Chris Ross, Child's Play, KRBT, Songs for Kaylee, Centerlink, John Pale Lilly Jr. Band, Aaron Gear, and Government Surplus. <laughs>
name is Ray Ozier from WMRC. Welcome to the 2013 WMRC Local Music Awards. We have got 11 performances tonight, 30 awards to give away. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll just do a quick thing here. We've never played for this amount of people before, so that was pretty awesome. I want to thank everybody for coming out first and foremost. I think this night's going to move pretty quick. I'm going to move this. This is the headliner, ladies and gentlemen, the headliner. Smear Campaign had this for a year. We don't know who is going to take it home with them yet, but they get to keep it for an entire year. It's the best of the best in our local area. All right, so this is how it worked. We considered bands and musicians in the 13 surrounding towns around WMRC. We also made some considerations for towns outside like Ashland and, uh, and Framingham, great band towns. If you played here and you're from the outside area, you were still considered. Who's taking the award? Okay, the wife's taking the award. Uh, there's so many people, uh, where was there? Oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, so we, we took into consideration uh, people from the outside area if they play in our little area here of the world. So those were some of the considerations we took. We gathered about 40 people, 40 musicians and fans that acted as our committee, our nomination committee. They threw us a whole bunch of names, we threw it online, and we asked you guys to vote. And tonight we come together to find out who is the best of the best. Come on. Now at this moment, I would love my MIB man, Alex Bra, to come up and hand me the envelopes. We've got them under lock and key. Let's hear it for Alex, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a big round of applause. Do you have the key, Alex? Does not have the key. Well, I got the key. Hold on. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. Give Alex a hand of, a round of applause, please. The awards! The winners! Now, we're going to have our presenters come up to the podium. All right, we'd like to welcome our first presenter. Ladies and gentlemen, from the sheltered, formerly rough Ashler. Let's hear it for Todd Boysford, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. All right, before I get started here, I'm going to keep it real quick because I know we want to get this night rolling. But let's hear it for Ray Osher here. This night does not happen without this man right here. So big round of applause for Ray. And I also got to say, it was kind of funny, a bass player giving away a guitar player award here. So uh, for my fellow bass players down here in front of me, you heard any guitar player jokes lately? Anyway, all right. So what I'm going to do is I just want to read a quote from one of my favorite guitar players here. It's a short, sweet, goes a little something like this. Let me explain something about guitar playing. Everybody's got their own character, and that's the thing that amazed me when I started guitar playing. Since the day I first picked it up, everyone's approach to what can come out of six strings is different. And it's all valid. And that was said by Jimmy Page. I think a few of you guys know who that's said, who that is. So without further ado, let's give away this award here. The nominees are John Pale Lilly from the Road Dogs. Blake Thompson of the KRBT Band. Dave Cornoyer. Billy Patterson of Smear Campaign and Jay Tulio of Tiger Lily. And the winner of the LMAs, that I like to refer to as the whammies, <laughs> Billy Patterson the Smear Campaign. So I have to be the first one up here. <laughs> Thank you, I was in some great company and uh, I didn't expect to win this. And, uh, the support that all of you give our band is overwhelming. I'm gonna thank my brothers in Smear Campaign because without you guys I wouldn't be able to play in front of all these people. So thank you, my girl, I got, I got five kids. And um, 
she, she makes some sacrifices so I can get up here and do this. So thank, thanks, Christine, too. And Ray, my hat's off to you. Thank you. Ray Patterson, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing out there at Music World? Jeff Freud's here from Milford TV. I'm here with best guitarist, Billy Patterson. Dude, how does it feel to be a winner tonight? You know, it, it, it's kind of overwhelming. I didn't, expect, I didn't expect to do this. I just play guitar. I'm glad I get to play for people, you know? How long have you been playing guitar for? 29, 30, 30 years now? So you're still young. You're still I'm young. still young, yeah. Now, you said outside you got five kids. How big of an influence is your wife on your music playing and allowing you to come out here to do this stuff here? Because that's a pretty big thing. It's huge. It is. Um, the work schedule. As a matter of fact, she wanted to be here tonight. She was supposed to work, so she actually shifted her work schedule around so she could be here tonight. But it's tough. It really is. You know, I mean, we practice a lot. Um, we play a lot. And she really picks up a lot of slack. Donna to the stage, Donna Mandel, ladies and gentlemen, not only a fan, but a super fan of a lot of the local music out here, and we thank her for the part she does in supporting local music. She's up to present best local male singer. Give it up for Donna, ladies and gentlemen. Before I start with the nominees for the local male vocalist, I just want to say Thank you to all of the performers, nominated or not, for allowing the average person to share in love of music. I just, you guys take time out of your daily lives that are just as hectic as ours to bring us fun, to bring us memories, to bring us laughter, give us a chance to let loose and dance our asses off. And I just want to say thank you for doing that above and beyond everything else. So a little bit about uh, the best male local nominees. Uh, male vocalists, as well as female vocalists, are what you call the front person of a band. And I think most people don't realize that the front person of the band does a lot more than just get up on stage and sing for you. They set the note for the night. They bring you in. Their level of enthusiasm is what gets us going. It makes a good show or a great show. Not only that, but they do the planning. They do the scheduling. They do all the BS bull that nobody else wants to do. So I would like to just make sure that y'all know that they just go above and beyond. And then, of course, they have the front man, everybody eye on you kind of thing. And their voices set them apart from everybody else. So these men who have been nominated for your best local male vocalist not only are great performers, but they go above and beyond and every time they step out on stage, they give the ass-kicking performance that we expect to see. They make sure that we have a damn good time and we don't go home bitching that it was a lame show. So, here's my card. With that, your nominees for the best local male singers are JK47 of Smear Campaign, Scott McDonald of Mouthpiece. Jim Liger of Zero Drift. Jesse Fontaine of Jesse Fontaine Trio. And Antonio Casasanta of We Were Astronauts. And your winner is Scott McDonald. Um, I want to thank everyone in the band. Thank Ray for putting this together, all the local musicians. Um, let's have a good night tonight, guys. Thank you. Scott McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. We got best male vocalist Scott McDonald. Scott, how are you tonight? I'm doing all right. Dude, how's it feel to be a winner? Uh, it's kind of crazy. I didn't think I'd win at all. You know? Why is that? Your voice isn't that good? <laughs> it's freaking horrible. <laughs> I just hear myself in the shower. It's, it's nonsense. What's the name? Of it? Are you in a solo band or are you with the band? Nah, Mouthpiece. Your Mouthpiece? Yep. We're also nominated for best rock band, but we'll see what happens later on with so that. So we may be seeing you again today. Uh, hopefully. How long have you been singing for? I'm 35 now. I, since I was around 14, 15, started playing with my friends, you know, garage band. All right, you guys all together? Yes, yes. Uh, all right, and what's your band? We're the Sheltered. And who are you nominated for? Uh, we're nominated for Best Original Act, and uh, I think I'm nominated for Best Bass Player, I think. Oh, wow, you got two You got two in the bag. Uh, I think so, yes. Always, always. yes. Now, who are your other fellow nominees? My other fellow nominees, I want to throw it out to uh, Jody, especially. 
Jody especially. I don't think she's here tonight, but uh, she deserves to be here because I think she's got it wrapped up. Now let me ask you, what's your, what's your favorite kind of music to play? Any kind. Any kind. Any kind. You said you're original? Our kind. Your kind. Yeah. Your original rights. So where do you get the inspiration for a lot of your music from? Uh, you know, I talk a lot with John here, and he tells a lot of good stories, and uh, I turn them to, to Mike, and Mike writes songs about him. So Mike's the writer. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What, do you ha do you have, you have, have you ever taken a class on to write a song? I've never actually taken a class on it. Never? I just do it. So uh, I figured rock music's fun, right? So if you get in a fight, you can write about that. If you fight with your girlfriend, you can write about that. If you just go out and get drunk, you can write about that. So you can write about all the fun parts of life, right? That's fantastic. All right, go inside in your jersey. So I know you guys want to get out of the rain. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, my partner in crime, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome up to this. Uh, actually, I have a lot of partners in crime, but this is my favorite acoustic partner in crime. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Redden from Justin Array Super Sing Along Spectacular to announce best local live music venue. So I'm presenting uh, best local live venue, and what can you say? Without a live venue, we wouldn't be here, right? So let's get to it. Nominees are Pins, Liz's Diamond Bar and Grill, The Pajama Joe Cafe. The British Beer Company and Pepperoncinis. And the winner is Pajama Joe Cafe. This is so awesome. This belongs to all of our wonderful performers who become like family to us. We love you all so much. Thank you. We are here with the winner of the best venue winner. This is... Denise Tracy. Denise Tracy, and she's from Pajama Joe's Cafe. You guys are in Holliston, correct? Yes. Excellent. How does it feel to be a winner? It feels awesome. We did not expect this. No? It was such a tiny little cafe in the middle of Holliston. We didn't expect it at all. Tell me a little bit about the history of Pajama Joe's. How'd you get the name Pajama Joe's? That's a great name. It's an acronym for the original owner's names. So dude, some guy was just called, was he like a homeless guy that walked around in pajamas? And they said, it's Pajama Joe! No, it's the first two initials for each of the original owner's names. Oh, very cool. How long has Pajama Joe's been around? Three years. Three years. And have you always done music? Yes. Describe to me the setup of Pajama Joe's. Is it a cafe? Is it a coffee house? It's a coffee house on one side, and it's a cafe in the back with the bar. And it's, it's a small venue, which is why I'm so shocked that we, we won this today. Well, I always see a lot of stuff from a lot of people playing in the area at Pajama Joe's, so you guys must be doing something right. Yeah, it's a really cool place. The sound is great, and it's just a really cool place. So Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. And you are? Jody Stevens from Soul System L. And you are nominated for? We are Best Blues Band, Best Vocalist, and Best Local Bassist. And the you're the bassist? Yes, yes. Wow. How did, when did you start playing? Oh, God, when I was about 15. How many bands have you been in over the years? Over the years? I'm currently in six, and I've been in probably 20 over the years. So you, get, so you kept busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love playing. Where was your favorite gig? My favorite gig? Oh, geez. Uh, I played at Brandeis University um, uh, as part of a women's music festival. I got to play one of my compositions on bass. So that was one of your compositions? Yes. Yeah. Where do you get your inspiration from to write your music? Um, everything. Life. Yeah, anything, you know. Very nice. I know you want to get out of the rain, so go inside and have some fun. All right, there you go. We're going to come back with a few more awards. But ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome our second act to the stage, and I believe you frequent the Jama Joe Cafe from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Aaron Gee. It's funny what people are apt to believe I use the word funny quite different, I mean Different rules of the thumb, many laws of the land Some passed down by God, some made up by man No one knows who I am, but that's who will change Put 
David Ware on drums. Thank you, Ray. How's everybody doing? Hey, listen, uh, Ray puts an incredible amount of work into this. Let's give it up for Ray again. Unbelievable. And uh, Tom, where's Tom from uh, MRC? Is he around here? Tom McCullough, his boss, puts a lot on the line too doing this, supporting Ray. So again, hats off to Ray. All right, you ready? Best local music event nominees are is that? Claflin, Hill Claflin Hill Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. Holiday Pops. That's a Hopkinton, Summer Hopkinton Summer Music Festival. The New England Country Music Club Jamboree. Imperial Cars presents the show. And Hopedale Oktoberfest. Wait a minute. You're missing one. The 2013 WMRC Local Music Awards should be on this list if you ask me. Just saying. Where is? Hopedale Oktoberfest. Tom McGovern, ladies and gentlemen, and Cindy McGovern. <laughs> wow, two years in a row. All of you guys, thank you very much. I want to thank Ray Osher, of course. He's a big part of Oktoberfest in Oakdale. He works his butt off for us, and I thank him. Five years ago, WMRC Radio became a partner of Oktoberfest in Oakdale. It started out as a grand opening of the Little Red Shop Museum. It has developed into the best damn local music event ever, and I thank you all. I am here with Tom and Cindy from the Hopedale Oktoberfest. They are the winners of the best music event. How are we doing tonight? Uh, we're doing good. How's it feel to be a winner tonight? Well, this is our second consecutive year, and it uh, feels good. It really so you guys are monopolizing the award. It's the second year, second award. Well, we hope to become the best, mo the best local music event in uh, all of central Massachusetts. That's our goal. Tell me a little bit about the, the event. How does it work? What do you do it? How does it run? When is it? Things like that. 
Oktoberfest started out five years ago as a grand opening for the Little Red Shop Museum in Hopedale. It has now developed into not just a, a family event, but a rock event. Uh, it starts early in the morning and we appeal to everybody from uh, little children all the way up to senior citizens. And what are the dates of this year's show? This year's show is October 5th and we hope to have 12 to 14 bands again this year. Uh, we have a beer garden to die for. Um, we had uh, Last year we had 147 vendors. It was really an incredible show. I bands, are you booking bands now? Should bands yes, get in touch? How would bands get in touch with you and acts get in touch with you? Uh, actually, we do it through Ray Osher is the one. Uh, after he gets done with this show, he'll start working on Oktoberfest in Hopedale. And you can contact him at WMRC at 508-473-1490. And uh, he'll be happy to talk to you. There you have it. Everybody get in touch with Ray. Thank you very much, you guys. Congratulations. All right, Thanks. and who are you guys? Uh, Aaron Olus and the Whiskey Rye Band. And what are you guys nominated for? Best Country Act. Best Country Act. Yes. Who are your fellow nominees? Uh, it's a good question. We need the lineup card. I don't remember. <laughs> the, the important part is that you guys know you're nominated. Wait yes. a second. So are you guys original or tributes? Cover band. Oh. Cover band. Who do you guys like to cover? Uh, Miranda Lambert, Gretchen Wilson, uh, Carrie Underwood, and we do originals as well. Have you guys ever met anybody exciting, like really famous? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been lucky enough to open for Alan Jackson. Gre Alan Jackson? Gretchen Wilson, Jody Messina, uh, Blake Shelton. Wow, you guys know how to get around. <laughs> guys, are you friends with them or? Uh, some of them. Uh, Lee, Lee Bryce was really good to us. Uh, we hung, we hung out backstage with Lee Bryce and all. He was great. Cool. You guys really seem enthusiastic about this. Hope you guys win. Go inside and have fun. The nominees for best local drummer are Bob Lundgren of Whiskey Tone, Biggs of Child's Play, Alec Anto Benedetto of the Peach Eaters. Joey Besick of Mouthpiece and Keith Ryan of Toll Booth Willie. The winner for Best Local Drummer is Alec Antibenedetto of the Peach Eaters. How's everybody doing? Um, everybody good? First of all, please put your hands together for Mr. Ray Arger for making this happen. I mean, this is really appreciated and uh, you do a lot of great things for a lot of great people, brother. I'll tell you that right now. I'd like to uh, send out a, a, a thank you to uh, two people that are part of my team that stay behind the scenes and they sure aren't behind the scenes to me. Uh, one is the uh, drummer for the Road Dogs. When he's not playing, he does a lot of drum tech for me, Mr. Russ Metcalf. Thank you, Russ. And also Lisa Saulnier, who has just been there time and time again, who has helped. And I'd like to thank all my brothers in the Peach Eaters and uh, Confounded Bridge, my Led Zeppelin tribute band, and all the guys in Pieces of Eight. Jed and the whole staff of Music and Arts. And thank you all. Support local music. Keep voting. Go see your friends. I love you all. Thank you very much. I'm here with Alex Antibonadetto. I say that correctly? Antibonadetto. Antibonadetto with the Peach Eaters. He just won Best Local Drummer. Alex, big question of the night. How's it feel to be a winner? Feels absolutely wonderful. First time in your life you've ever felt like somebody, huh? Well, no, but I mean, it's, it, it was definitely, uh, I think I feel like somebody when I play with a band and we have a good night and I feel like somebody when I teach one of my students and they do, you know, some good things like a performance or whatever, but this is just, uh, we've got so many friends and so many fans out there that took time out of their day, their work lives, their family time, even, you know, just to vote is just very humbling and, you know, it's a nice thing. Excellent. How long have you been with the Peach Eaters? Been doing this for about 13 years now. And how long have you been playing drums? Uh, since 1978. It's a long time. It's a long time, absolutely. He's a seasoned drummer, ladies and gentlemen. This is why he is the winner of the 2013 WMRC Music Awards Best Local Drummer. Alex, thank you very much, brother. Congratulations. Support live music. Thank you, guys. Support live music.
How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. And your name is? Jesse Fontaine. And what are you nominated for, Jesse? Uh, best uh, Local Jazz Act and uh, I believe uh, Male Vocalist and I think Keyboardist too. Very nice. You do all those? Yeah. Multi-talented, if I may say so. Yeah, right at the same time. Now let me ask you a question. Are you a cover or original? Uh, a little bit of both. Do you write your own songs? Yes, I do. Have you ever taken a class in your life on songwriting? No. Never? Uh, class per se, no. No. So where does your inspiration come from? My inspiration comes from all those artists that I've listened to over the years, like Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra and, and even Rod Stewart and Billy Joel and just listening to their stuff. Now let me ask you a question. Who is the most interesting musician you've ever met? Uh, that'd be, uh, I think, Tony Bennett. Tony, you actually met Tony Bennett yeah. backstage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a great guy. He must be really nice to hang out with. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great humanitarian. He really is. Tony Bennett's a classic. I really love him. Tell you what, go inside and enjoy the show. Right, thank you. Thank you so much. See you. See you, dude. All right, let's welcome Mr. Jesse Fontaine, last year's winner for Best Male Vocals, Best Jazz Act. Jesse Fontaine, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm Jesse Fontaine, and I'm here to announce uh, the winner of the Best Local Country and Southern Rock Group. Uh, country music represents the quintessential American values, positive attitudes towards the American way of life. It was musicians such as Guthrie and Robinson that associate their music with social awareness in America. These pioneered themes, they still ring in today's country music. The nominees are Aaron Otis, in the Whiskey Rye Band. Still burning. Shana Jackman. Jesse and the Hog Brothers. And Joe Macy. Winners inside? No drum roll? All right. And the winner is the best local country Southern Rock Act. Still burning. Still burning. Thanks, guys. This is awesome. We're honored to have this. Keep rock alive. Southern Rock alive. Woo! Thank you. All right, we are here with the winners for Best Country Local Act. How are we guys today? We're doing fantastic. What's the name of the band? Still Burning. Still Burning. Who do we got with us tonight? I'm Tom Libertori, lead guitar. Double D, bass player. Steve Garnett, singer, guitar player. Guys, big question of the night is how does it feel to be a winner? Ah, uh, it's awesome. It feels awesome. How long have you been a band? Uh, 12. 30 years. How many? 12 years. Long, long time. Been a band for a long time. They're still young guys. When you started off this band, were you always country? Was it the same band, or you guys just been doing your thing? Well, I like southern rock more, southern rock music, you know, more than country, but uh, love country and a little more southern flair to it. What's the best place people to get in touch with you guys? Uh, probably Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, probably. What would be your Facebook address? It's, uh, what is our Facebook address? It's, uh, it's either one of our names, actually. Still burning. Still burning Southern Rock? Yeah, still burning Southern Rock or S T I L dot B U R N I N Facebook forward slash prior to that. And get us on messages and we'll uh, be fine. Excellent. Look them up on Facebook. Still burning. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Thanks. And your name is? Kate Russo. And your name is? Blake Thompson. What are you guys nominated for, guys? Uh, best Blues Band, KRBT, and Best Female Singer, Kate Russo, Best Original Act, Kate Russo, and Best Guitarist, Blake Thompson. Wow, you guys are really getting all the nominations in. That's really awesome. Thank you. Now, who writes the songs? We both do. Where does in your inspiration come from? Uh, I would say from everywhere, from classical to blues rock. We love Stevie Ray Vaughan, and we love Beethoven. Who is the most interesting musician you've ever met? That is a very tricky question. There's a lot of really great ones. I'd say Rick Danko from the band. Very nice. How about you? I'd have to say um, Mick Taylor. Mick Taylor. Very nice. I know you guys want to go inside and have some fun. So 
Go inside and have some fun. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Kate Russo, Blake Thompson, KRBT Band.
right now we are going to be presenting Best Local Pop Rock Cover Act. The nominations are Fred Not. All right. Come on. Fred Not. All right. Mouthpiece. All right. Dope Slap. No, no Alibi. And EBS. And the winner is. The winner is Mouthpiece. And you guys say your thank you. Screw them. Anyway, this is awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. I mean, I feel like we could have been winners. I'm pretty happy we won. You guys are all awesome. We feed off all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ray. Thanks for this whole scene. You guys are good. Yeah. Mouthpiece, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with Mouthpiece, best local cover act. How are you guys feeling? Awesome. Can't believe we won. I'm pretty pumped. Now you've been up, where, where was the other guys? But you've been up here before. You guys won. Yeah, well, yeah. Best best vocals, best band. It's the best band in the world, right? How does now. it feel to be a two time winner tonight? Uh, it feels awesome. Are I'm the women a three time winner when I get home tonight. Are the women just throwing themselves at you? Um no, no, no. No. I have a girlfriend. I gotta uh. be I gotta be good. Good boy. Okay. So for you guys that aren't winners already, but you are now, how does it feel to how does it feel to have won this award? This is the first time I ever won anything in my life, and it's for music, and I'm so excited about Not it. Not even like science fair in fifth Nothing. grade. Never won a thing in my life. Not this is it. Like just before leaving, like the kids just said, uh, "Hey, good luck, Dad. You know, try to get a trophy or something." <laughs> and I'm like, other than like uh, 20 bucks on the table. <laughs> good luck, Dad. Try not to come home a loser, okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. What do you have to say to your fans out there and all the people that nominated and voted for you? Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, fans. You Thank everything you to us. To my boy, Adam. Yeah, brother. We won one. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in this whole scene is everything to us. It's the whole reason we do it, and it's awesome. Woo! Excellent. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, our next presenter tonight. He's performing tonight with Government Mule up for a few awards. Let's hear it for Derek Varnum, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? I'd like to thank Ray, first off, for doing this. What a great scene, huh? So I'm here to announce the, uh, the Best Local Acoustic Act. And uh, you know, what a, it's a different breed of musicians to get up there and play the acoustic stuff. Because you, you get up there and you almost feel naked. You don't have any bandmates to give looks at if you hit the wrong notes or anything. And every eye in the place is on you. And it, it's a tough thing to do. Not to mention the bar, especially in this area and, and nationally, it's set pretty high. There's some incredible, incredible acts out there. And uh, looking down this list, everybody on this list could have won this award tonight for sure. Uh, some of the best local talent in the area. So, for best local acoustic act, the winner is. The nominees are. We've got Box Grove up for a nomination. We got. Downsized up for a nomination. The Bill McGoldrick Acoustic Duo, they're up for it. Let's hear it for those guys. The Justin and Ray Super Sing Along Spectacular. Oh, they got some fans in the house, all right. And Zero Drift is up for this award as well. It's here for Zero Drift. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, who's taking this home? And the winner is San Francisco Drift. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who voted. Uh, thanks to Ray for putting this all together. Thanks to Jim. Ray, say thanks, Jim. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Obviously, there's a lot of talent in this category, um, so we're very, very humbled. We love playing. We love playing out. We love playing for everybody, and uh, obviously, there's a lot of talent in the room all around. And again, I'd just like to thank Ray Oja for everything that he's done tonight. Thank you. I'm here with the boys from Zero Drift. They just took home the award for Best Local Acoustic Act. Guys, question of the evening, how's it feel to be a winner? Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's actually it's fantastic. I mean, it's our first year at the awards, and to walk away with something is uh, it's been, is an, uh, awesome. Absolutely awesome. How long has Zero Drift been Zero Drift? Uh, in this incarnation, probably three or four years. 
Um, before that, we were a full band since maybe about 2002 or so. So we've been doing covers and stuff for a while. So you guys always acoustic, or do you ever do anything like hard rock, or is it just strictly acoustic music? Just strictly acoustic music. That's it. Never really anything. We let the big boys do their own thing, and we just kind of keep it quiet and tame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we try to we try to mix it up with our set list. We try to cover a wide variety, but for the most part, you know, it's it's acoustic bass, and once in a while we bring in some percussion. Excellent. Well, guys, congratulations on your big win. Thank you. Thank very you good. Very I didn't practice any of the names. Oh, we're doing best local bassist. I wrote nothing to say, except for the guys that get overlooked most of the time, besides keyboard players. But you know what? They serve a great purpose. We love our bass players. We couldn't play without them. Ladies and gentlemen, our nominees, Jay Nicholson from Smear Campaign. Jody Stevens from Soul System Mail. John Esposito from the Road Dogs. Todd Boysford from Rough Ashler, now The Sheltered. And Dave Mancuso from Whiskey Tone. And the winner of the 2013 WMRC Local Music Awards Best Local Basis is Dave Mancuso, Whiskey Tone. Yeah. Oh, man. I am, I, I am like totally not worthy, all right? As a matter of fact, my bass teacher is like here. And she, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know what? I want to thank the Milford School System, all right? That's where I started. The great Bob Varney, all right? Don Acavelli and Don Thatcher, who told me to take up basket weaving, all right? All right, thank you all. Love you. I'm here with Goose from Whiskey Tone, who just took home the prestigious award for best local bass player. Goose, how's it feeling? Where's Maverick tonight? Oh, you know, Maverick? Yeah, Goose and Maverick, Top Gun, come on. Well, you know what? Um, we, do, we do some Maverick songs in my band, Whiskey Tone, all right? Anyway, um, how's it feel to win tonight? It, it feels great to be recognized by your peers. I know so many of these people. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you. You know, I came up through the Milford school system, you know. My, my first lessons were by the great Bob Varney, you know, and then the great Don Acavelli, you know, so I've been around for years. So your local boy made it big, huh? Yeah, I made it big, sure. <laughs> made, it, made it all the way to Penn's. There we go. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This is what Milford school system will do for you. Ladies and gentlemen, our next band tonight, our next performer, He's up for best local single. Put your hands together for Mr. Chris Ross. Thank you Ross, what's up everyone? How you doing? Check on two. Father's still alive. Give 
Chris Ross, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Jay Tulio, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Jay Tulio. I am not the shortest man in the room. I'm shorter. I am shorter than Ray. Best, ori best original single nominees. First one is Shanna Jackman in my truck. We were astronauts outside Boston. Chris Ross, Freedom. Aaron Gear, Man. Center Link, Distant Voices. And the winner is. In my truck, Shanna Jackman. Shanna. Wow, I'm in shock, really. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to be nominated. Thank you, WMRC. Um, I'm really shocked because I was in a great group of amazing artists. So thank you so much. To be nominated was just an honor. So thank you. Um, Thank you to uh, Rob Sepulveda to uh, help inspire the song and also to the other co-writers, Connie Mims and Nancy Goudet to uh, help write this song about a true story of my life. I'll be going to Nashville in July to write my album. So I'm so excited. Uh, thank you for everyone who voted uh, for this song and uh, be sure to follow Follow me on my next journey. So thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for supporting local music, WMRC and Pins. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thanks, Shannon. Congratulations. What's your single? It's called In My Truck. It's country music, of course. Have you written it yourself? I have. It's, of course, a true story. Now let me ask you a question. Where does your inspiration come from? Well, true life events, of course. Anything inspires me. I have to come from the heart. Um, true life experience. I can't write anything else, but I guess really. Have you ever taken a class in your life uh, uh, on songwriting? Yes, actually. There's a. I've taken classes at Berkeley. Uh -huh. um, and oh, you're from Berkeley. No, well, I'm. I w I've taken classes. You can take classes uh -huh. online from Berkeley. Yeah, okay, cool. So I've, I've done a little bit of that. I work with some songwriters uh, from Texas and from um, back in more Canada and Nashville. So I work with some amazing songwriters as well. So I've done a little bit of that. And then other than that, I've been uh, working with some wonderful people back and forth from Nashville. So. Very nice. You have a lovely voice. I'm sure you're a fantastic singer and very confident you're going to win. Oh, thank you very right. much. I'm here with Shanna Jackman that just took home the award for best local single. What song was it for? It's called In My Truck. In My Truck. Do we want it? Is this song, is this song listener friendly? Can we talk about what this song is about for our, 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 our family friendly airwaves? Absolutely. Let's tell us a little bit about it. Well, of course, it's country. A little bit. Well, it's, of course, it's about a relationship that I had. And let's just say, think about the country music in the past, right? They said old country songs, they, they say, well, if you do go backwards, you get everything back, right? Well, I said, well, here's a country song in my life. I said, all I wanted was my truck. I said, you can keep everything. And it's a true story. I basically said, that's all I wanted. It was my truck. And what kind of truck is it? Ford F-150. You don't still have it anymore? I had to trade it in. I did. Uh, I did eventually have to trade it in because the gas was a little too much. But I loved that thing. I did. It was in some of the lyrics. It's V8 5.4. So I, you fell into the stereotypical country music of writing either about your truck or your dog. Yes. And it, but in the lyrics, he could keep the dog. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank the entire staff that Molly. First of all, I'd like to thank my lovely bride Molly Rozier for uh, helping out. She. She did so much, and I couldn't have done it without her. She put together a great staff. Put your hands together for the Local Music Awards staff that helped us out so much throughout the night. Still helping out. Can we put our hands together for the guys that made the sound happen tonight? Let's hear it for Smear Campaign. Those guys, those guys weren't here at noon today setting up for the, uh, for the show, so I want to thank them personally. 
for all they're doing for us. All right, let's get Jim and Lou up here. Jim and Lou from Zero Drift, award-winning Zero Drift, to announce the next category, the next winner. And then we okay, we're gonna present for best solo acoustic. Needless to say, standing up by yourself and performing is a very scary thing. I don't have to do that so I can say it, right? So put your hands together for the nominees for best solo acoustic. Actually, Jim, I have some news for you. I'm gonna go solo next year. Hopefully get nominated in that category. So the best local acoustic solo act. First nominee is Jeff Royds. Yeah. Kathy Lindsay. Yeah. Guy Bergeron. Yeah. Ken Barney. Yeah. And Gay Barbosa. Yeah. The winner is. Kathy Lindsay. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you to Ray Osher for um, getting this whole music community together. He does an amazing job. Um, gives a lot of opportunities for a lot of us musicians and for listeners alike to really enjoy themselves. I want to say thank you to everyone who voted and I want to say a special thanks to for Pajama Joe for um, being um, a great venue for acoustic music. If you haven't been there, check it out. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Congratulations, Kev. I'm here with best solo acoustic artist, Miss Cat, two time winner, Kathy Lindsay. Kathy, how's it feel to win again this year? It feels great. It really does. Do, I, do you feel bad standing next to me two years in a row because we were nominated both together two years in a row and you've beat me both years? I know, I know. <laughs> you know what? If I was going to lose to anybody, I'm happy I lost to this lady right here. How long have you been playing music for? Well, I've been playing since I was about 11 years old. I started performing when I was 15 and um, sort of a long list of, I um, was in an all-female rock band when I was a kid. Look at you. And and um, then you know went you know went acoustic, and that's my true love. I feel it's a great way to express yourself and get your individuality out there. But I must say the awards are great because it's true. You do feel sometimes like you are up there alone, and when you come to something like this, you realize you're not. It's it's all good. Everyone everyone's a winner. Everyone deserves it. Excellent. Where can people find you, and where are you playing next? Okay. Um, where am I playing next? I'm going to be. Um, in um, actually at the Lazy Dog, um, I'm actually opening for a band called Rogue, and then after that, I'm at Pajama Joe. Got a few things lined up at the Cape, and um, also, and then back, back at uh, Pajama Joe again in September. Excellent. And there's there a KathyLindsay.com Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, and I have a My MySpace page as well. What's that? I know. Huh? I might be one of the few and one and only that has it, but. Um, Anyway, um, you can find me there, but mostly Facebook. Excellent. Kathy, congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. Kathy Lindsay, everyone. Thank you. All right, I, I need everybody to get in this picture. So what I want you to do is raise your arms up, maybe some rock and roll fingers, whatever you'd like to do. Everybody in the room, put your hands in the air. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't forget the bar, Jim. Don't forget the bar. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm excellent, man. Love the hats. Thank you very much. And let's do an introduction for everyone. Who is everyone? This is Jedediah Weeks, Real Deal Chris Hill, Bobby Keys, Rob Keeler, Al Biggs Bigelow. My name is Chip. Nice to meet you, Chip. You guys, nice to meet you too. You guys look really awesome between the sailor hat and the you're, fuzzy hat. You're supposed to tell me your name now. We all did, went through this. You know? Oh, I'm RJ. I'm the I'm the, I'm the interviewer. Yeah. Right on, right on. <laughs> all right. So, what are you guys nominated for? Stage performance. Best stage performance. Best cover band. Marketing. 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 Alice Alice nominated for best drummer. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Very nice. Right Can we find you guys online anywhere? Childsplayrock.com. You gotta spell it cool. It's C H Y L D Z Play.com. Oh, T-shirt. We got the T-shirts. We got the whole thing, man. Hey, you guys playing in there too, aren't you? We got one coming up. Yeah, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do one. You guys, know what song you're playing yet? 
We do. Are we supposed to give that away? We were going to let it go. We were going we to keep Whatever. it under wraps. We'll keep it under wraps for now. I just wanted to make sure you're prepared. You, we're playing American Girl by Tom Petty. Fantastic song. That's a good choice. All right. All right, I know you guys want to get out of the rain. So God go bless you for putting this whole thing together, man. Thanks, dude. Have a good one. Hey, see you later. Gucci. Child's play. Are you having a good time so far? That's what I thought. Now, I, 
I'm going to pay for this in my next paycheck, but I forgot to uh, have Mr. Tom McAuliffe, my boss, the president of WMRC, up here to present an award. He was supposed to present it before Child's Play. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the president of WMRC, Mr. Tom McAuliffe. Everybody's taking the opportunity tonight to thank Ray Osher, and I have to thank him maybe more than anybody because I get to see his brilliance and passion every single day. Two years ago, these music awards were just a dream. Ray came into my office and said, I think we can do this better than anybody else. I don't think uh, this is uh, represented in this area as it should be. And I said, Ray, if you think you can do it, let's go for it. And I think tonight shows that he was right. So thank you to everybody for coming and thank you to Ray. Tonight I'll be announcing the nominees and the winner of the Best Local Ethnic Act. Our nominees are the Belfast Cowboys, Rising Tribe, Jesse Gonzalez, Songs for Kaylee, and Novera. And the winner is... Tribe. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it tonight, so we'll make sure that they get that award. So, again, thank you to everybody for coming, all our sponsors, and especially this guy right here, Ray Osher. Thank you. Let's welcome to the stage our next presenters, Kate Russo and Blake Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Listen up, we got Smear Campaign. Yeah. Child's Play. Soul System Out. The Road Dogs. And Downsize. Come on. All right, and the winner is. The Best Soul Promotion of a Local Act. I just want to say, I know everybody's thanked like Ray, and this has really been a fun night. I want to go on record on saying it's really great to win an award that Smear Campaign didn't win. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With that being said, we really appreciate it, man. We appreciate the fans, we appreciate you guys appreciating our efforts. We work, I gotta tell you, Al is the one that does most of this work. I just show up and run around like an idiot, you know? God bless you guys, man. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you. Simply put, thank you. Child's Play, put your hands together once again for Child's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Now you guys performed tonight. You did the uh, the, the the Tom Petty classic American Go, did I hit? We, we did the, uh, we did Tom Petty. It, Technically, it was 1979 that he released it, but who are we to say? Who's to say? Exactly. Now, what does Child's Play do to promote themselves that won you guys this award? Well, we wear spandex. And, it always helps. And, and, you know, I wear my wife's um, thing. I don't know if you guys can catch this, but... I, wear I don't know wife. if we want to. I, I don't know if you want to either, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but we go to TJ Maxx, we wear terrible clothing, and um, we, as tight as it can go, and then we play 80s cover songs. And that's all it is, and that promotes, and people love you guys, and come out and see you play. And then we win these things. There you go, a small little uh, chalice there. Congratulations, man. Keep up doing good work and doing what you're doing. Chalice play, best promotion. Everybody's got to pretend to be like them, and you got to get out there, and you got to do your thing. Hi, how you doing? I'm all right. And your name is? I am uh, Rich Teeter of Teeter Totters. I used to be Shaggy Two Dope, but they made me quit. Come on over, gang. Come on over, guys. This you here guys is... want a flatbed. We, yeah, we're on a flatbed. This is Arlene Erquart. Hey, how are you doing? 
Over there, that's Tim Provost and Nikki Magandance over there. Very nice. And what are you guys nominated for? Uh, best, best, what is it? Band. Best cover band, best apparently. Cover band. And then Arlene and I for our acoustic duo and best promotion, whatever that means. Best promotion. Yeah, I didn't get promoted. I got laid off. All right, folks. Very nice. Party. Here he was. Um, What's your name? You know, I, I started. I'm RJ. Think about myself. You're RJ. All right, RJ. The question is, you you you, you told me everything about me, but what about you? What do you like? Um, I'm a talk show host on Milford TV. I host my very own show, Talk Show with RJ Sheedy. How old are you, buddy? How old are you? I am 17 years old. You're 17. So how long have you been doing this? Since sophomore year. So I don't know no. what that means. 16. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little old for the sophomore year thing. Right. So how's it going? It's going pretty well. I've been doing a lot of shows. I just had Ray Osher on. She I heard of her. <laughs> she's Late came on. They were pretty good. Listen, just... buddy, you're 17. If you hear She's Late, hit the skids, all right? Yeah, I don't want right, to. All right, we got to go. Teeter Totters need free drinks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Out of it. All right, our next presenter, ladies and gentlemen, he's the baddest boy on the playground. He's nothing but trouble. Put your hands together for Mr. Rich Teeter. How's everybody doing? Are we all doing well? I'm Rich Teeter from Teeter Totters, and we don't really get gigs. We just roll around on a big piece of <laughs> flat pad everywhere we go. Um, I was really happy when Ray asked me to give an award away, and I said, what will I need for this? I need my drummer to get in place is what I need. Thank you. By the way, that's Sticks Ripple. He is an uh, official rim shot technician. Thank you. And I said to Ray, what do I need? He says, I don't know, tux. So, Ray, I got the tux. I, I don't know what you need him for. I can only guess. There he goes. All right, we'll put that behind us. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to give away the award for best female vocalist. And I think if you know who I am, then you know who my vote goes to for best local female vocalist. Todd Hosford, that's right. Little early bag. All right, there he goes. <laughs> I had some political jokes, but I don't want to be investigated by the IRS. Thank you. How about let's hear it from Molly, Mrs. Ray Osher. Come on. You know, everybody goes, oh, Ray, oh, he did such a good, good job putting it together. Who's he kidding? We know who really did it right there. Molly, take a bow, Molly. All right, I actually do have the award for best, what is this, best cinematography in a Swedish porn film. Well, oh. uh, by the way, I've seen Ray Oja three times in the past two months. First he was Guy Fieri. Then he was Kevin James. Now he's Betty White. I don't know what it is. And he, no, he's literally Betty White. <laughs> he is. Let's hear it for him. Come on, Betty White. The guy banging Betty White. And let's hear it for Molly for letting it happen. That's my kind of girl right there. All right, where was I? Oh, the nominees for best local female singer are... Very good sticks. Sarah Thompson. Come on, let's hear it for her. If I say this name, do I get a cold Jaeger shot poured to me from the top of the bar? She plays with Jay Julio, who when you see him says, Hey man, nice to see you, nice to see you. It's good to see you, man. How you been? How you been? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. It's Lily from Tiger Lily. Come on, get going. Somebody get him some macaroni and cheese. He's still slowing down on me. Then, of course, a name that sounds like it could have been a part of the Honeymooners, Mel Carney from Soul System. Mel! A girl that was just up here. Is she still standing around? Kate Russo, come on, let's hear it for And then, a girl whose last name kind of defies her personality. She is a cute pixie, but she's a little dangerous, if you know what I'm saying. Jesse Fair of Dope Slap, people. Let's hear it for her. Come on. Come on. Come on! So those are the great nominees this year. Apparently there is an envelope with a winning name in it. It is Lily! I'm tired of Lily, come on, let's hear it! 
music feel like there's something like sexy like stripper beat? Because I'm a little bit dirty and I'm a little bit rock and roll. And I <laughs> and I'm not humble, but I am. And I'm not sorry. I am sorry. I send this out to John Paul Royer and Jay Tulio, who are my brothers. It wouldn't be much if it wasn't for them in my life. They are my brothers and they are so important to me and they help make making cover music come alive which is a magical thing to do right the guys in child play know that you got to make other people's music bring new life to music that already has life and it takes people in the audience who are so fucking alive and so wonderful and so supportive and then it takes John Paul Royer and Jay Tulio to make it come alive in the band room. Thank you. Let's all get drunk! Lily from Tiger Lily. Hey, somebody remind me never to put Rich Teeter and Lily back to back again. Okay, let's do a quick introduction. Who is everyone? All right, uh, my gen name is Jesse Braintree, and we've got Christian Hogg over here. Uh -huh. He plays bass. Over the, the the short guy, that's Buzz Hogg. He plays he plays guitar and a few other things. We got Jethro Hogg. He's our rhythm guitar player, and we got our banjo and lead guitar player Stevie Joe Hogg. And uh, my name is Jesse Braintree, and we're Jesse and the Hogg brothers. And you're probably wondering what the relationship is with Braintree and Hogg. My mother was a Hogg. That's very nice of you. No, no, she was. Uh, you know, in fact, um, we can vouch for that. Trust me. Let me ask you a question. Where was the best gig you've ever played? Oh, um, I guess, I guess. Yeah, no, that was for food. But uh, the best gig we played last last year, we played the Redneck Olympics down in Arkansas, and it was it was so good. People were so nice to us, and we we never had. Uh, deep fried Kool-Aid before, but we've had deep it now. Deep fried Kool-Aid. Deep fried Kool-Aid. They had deep fried candy bars, deep fried bacon, uh, deep fried pickles. But I've had them. That's a common where we're from in Texas. Deep fried pickles are pretty common. You can, you know, it's really good at ranch dressing. That sounds delicious. It is. In fact, you know, in fact, you know, it's first time. First time Christian came came down. He came down to visit us, and we went out to Risky's Barbecue in Fort Worth. And he said, and he says, "Oh yeah, fried pickles." And he's laughing. So then he tries them with us, and he's like, "These are really good." I go, "Yeah, I wouldn't have yeah. paid for them if you're gonna throw them out." <laughs> All right, guys, go inside and have some fun. Right, Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the podium right now. My local musical crush, I don't know if she knows that. Miss Megan Haskins, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, sorry Molly. Megan Haskins, ladies and gentlemen, from Smear Campaign. Well, I'm gonna make this short and sweet seeing as uh, Rick Tito went on for about an hour and a half. Um, you know, it is very appropriate that, you know, they picked a pretty young thing like me to uh, pick the, you know, the nominations for the uh, pianist, rather. Um, but uh, here we go with the nominees. All right, best local keyboardist. Keyboardist, that's probably a better word for it. Uh, Tommy Pyle. Hell yeah, of Smear Campaign. Jesse Fontaine of the Jesse Fontaine Trio. Jim Sullivan of the Peach Eaters. Robert Landergren of the Road Dogs. And John Newell of Still Burning. And the best local keyboardist is Jim Sullivan, the Pugitos. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for paying attention when we're playing and having <laughs> for the people that come out and see us all the time and hear the same sh we do all the time with a little variety of course uh, thanks very much this really means a lot to me and, uh, and the rest of the band, and I just want to thank everybody for being
being out there and coming to see us and supporting local music. And um, you, know, you guys are great. And thanks again. Thank you. How are you? And what's your name? Kevin Colucci. Kevin Colucci. What are you nominated for, Kevin? We're up for Best Metal Act. Best Metal Act. Where's the rest of your band? They're all at home, the bastards. Wow, that's so uncool of them. All right, we'll, we'll get them back. We'll get them back. So what kind of music do you guys play? Metal? We are, we are original metal. Original. Who's the songwriter of the group? Um, all of us, pretty much. Uh, primarily, Chris writes all the lyrics. Um, Bob, our guitarist, comes up with all the guitar riffs. And the rest of us kind of form it into a song. Wow, that's fantastic. It's a great formula. Works well. It seems like you guys really are working well. Yes. All right. I know you want to get out of the rain, so go inside and have some fun, dude. Sure thing. All right, we continue with another live performance from one of our nominees tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a 2013 LMA winner, Zero Drift!
Nominated for a couple awards, winners of one. Hey, everybody. How are y'all doing? Woo. Good night tonight. Very good night. All right, I just want to say that, you know, I was out of the music scene for a little bit, but I come here on events like tonight, and I see that the music scene is live and kicking here in the Milford, greater Milford area. That's awesome, because uh, growing up in the 80s, uh, every little kid had a guitar in their hand or a drumstick in their hand, and you know our music really kicked ass back then. Uh, so it's good to see that music still alive, because a lot of kids, you know, they're just holding uh, gamer controllers now instead of musical instruments. So you guys keep the music alive, and that's awesome. So tonight, it looks like we're giving best local music organization. So the nominees are Claflin Hill Symphony Orchestra, Music Together of Blackstone Valley, Blackstone Valley Community Chorus, and the Greater Milford Community Chorus. And the winner is... Thank you. Claflin Hill Symphony Orchestra. All right, we have Best Local Performing Arts Center nominees are Hopkinton Center for the Arts, Precinct Performing Arts Center, Milford Performing Arts Center, Franklin School for the Performing Arts, and Hostel School for the Performing Arts. And the winner is... Ooh. Milford Performing Arts Center. Come on up. I just want to say thank you on behalf of the Milford Performing Arts Center. Um, we, are, we are so pleased to win this the second year in a row and thank you very much for including the arts and supporting them. I'm here with Thea Martin just took home the award for Best Local Performing Arts Center. I rode in the limo with you. How honored do I feel right now to be standing next to and rode in the limo with an award winner? I, I'm just honored to be receiving this award. Um, this is our second year receiving it and we could not be happier. So tell me a little bit about the Performing Arts Center. Um, well, we, we really like to include everyone in the community, from kids to ages five and through adults. Um, you know, we encourage performing arts, visual arts, individual music lessons and voice lessons. Um, you know, we perform several shows throughout the year and we just really, really keep theater alive in the community and we're happy to be thriving and having, you know, so many fans and so many successful shows. Where is the Performing Arts Center located? It's uh, right in downtown Milford. It's at 150 Main Street, and we have a little theater there. And then once a year, we do a big uh, musical with the high school kids at the uh, Milford High School. If people wanted to get involved with the Arts Center, how would they do that? Uh, they can stop in anytime, or they can visit the website, milfordpack.org. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Hello, how are you? And you are? Gay Barboza. And you are with who? Uh, this is my husband. This is your husband. My husband. Hello, husband. How are you? Very What's your name? Mike. Okay, are you guys together with a nominee or what is it? It's myself. Okay, what are you nominated for? Solo Acoustic Act. Weren't you, hang on, you look really familiar. Weren't you on Living for the Weekend a few weeks ago? I was with Ray Osher. Wow. So your best original act? Best solo acoustic best act. Solo acoustic act. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I've interviewed too many people today. It's okay. So where, where did you get your starts? Uh, I live in Attleboro, uh -huh. and that's where I got my start, pretty much. <laughs> Very nice. What's the best gig you've played so far? The lovely and lively Three Restaurant in Franklin. <laughs> Three Restaurant's a good place to be at when it comes to music. Yeah, it's great. All right, go inside and have some fun. I'm sure you'll win. Thank you. Thank you. I fear we don't have enough original music. You guys are all musicians. Write a song. Yeah. Send it to us. We'll play it on the radio. I don't care if you're in a cover band. Do something new. 
Write a song, let's bring the original back into this town. It's thriving in Boston and in Worcester. It's something that we're a little light on here in the Milford, uh, greater Milford area. But we do have a lot of great local musicians that are either from the area playing in other places or from other places playing here once in a while. So let's hear for original music. Your nominees for Best Local Original Album are We Were Astronauts, Outside Boston, CenturyLink, What It Takes, Rising Tribe, Live Up, Mike Tarara, I'm Here, I'm There, and Aaron Gear, Good, Evil. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, for Best Local Original Album, Outside Boston, We Were Astronauts. Thank you, guys. We took a big chance on this. We went down to Nashville, Tennessee, recorded an album. Uh, we're from Boston, you know, and the best thing that they had to say about us was they could tell that we were from Boston, Massachusetts, and Milford, Massachusetts. We just want to thank all our fans and everybody. Thank you. We'd like to give a huge shout out. Ray Ozier, you know, this is such a cool, fe uh, just a cool show, and, and the fact that he supports local original music, too, I mean, Wicked big ups to that. There we go. How about Boston, baby? Thanks, everybody. I'm here with We Were Astronauts. They just took home the award for best local album. Guys, how's it feel to be a winner? It's awesome, man. That's great. We love this. Uh, we love this town. We love this community, and uh, it's really cool to to have some appreciation for local original music, and uh, we love it. So, what's the name of the album? Outside Boston. Outside Boston. So that's fitting for you guys. Right. We live outside Boston. <laughs> that's great, man. There we go. How long has We Were Astronauts been We Were Astronauts? We've been going for about a year. We put a real lot into it in the last year. Went down to Nashville to record a record. And, uh, and this was it, our debut record. We were uh, outside Boston just came out in January. And uh, we, you know, I've been trying to really get it out there since then. Yep. You were trying to say something. Step into the camera. Oh, no, I was just going to say it was a year ago this past Monday. So. A year ago this past Monday. There you go, guys. Congratulations. We were astronauts. Thank Best you, local man. album. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, can you have introductions? V. The... What's that? What's your name? My name is Nikki Rage. Nikki Dark. Nikki Sin. Mercy Roulette. Hey, what are you guys nominated for? Uh, Best metal band. Best metal band. You guys look like Kiss. Has anyone ever told you that? Oh yeah, yeah. Do uh, you guys play a lot of them? We don't. No, we play original no. heavy music. We don't look like that. Oh, you guys actually play original stuff? Yes. Cool. Can you guys find you online anywhere? Yes, you can go to wearev.net and you can look, have to look for us on Facebook too. Very cool. Go inside and enjoy yourselves. Alright, man. Hey. Hey, how are you? What's up? I love the Charlie Harper shirt right now. How you there. doing? Thank What's you. up? And introductions, who is everyone? So, songs for Kaylee. This is John, yep. Scott, and I'm Brian. Nice to meet you guys. Meet you. And what are you guys nominated for? Uh, best Ethnic Band. Best Ethnic Band. Yes. What kind of music do you guys play? Celtic. Oh, Celtic. Yes. That's really unique. You could guess from the... Uh, I was right? kind of admiring your kit. It looks very amazing. Surprisingly comfortable, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What are you, what are you wearing under there? But that's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> that's a hard-hitting question. It is. So, can we find you guys anywhere online? Absolutely. Songsforkaylee.com um, or Facebook, Twitter. Absolutely. All right. Go inside and enjoy yourselves. Hope you guys win. I'd like to welcome our next performers tonight. Let's hear it for Songs for Kaylee, ladies and gentlemen. All right, welcome everyone. We're going to give you a little taste of what we do. Here we go. This is a drinking song, so hopefully you're going to drink. Hell, oh, the story I'm about to tell is repeated every night In all the pubs across this land, it's something you can't fight They walk in unsuspecting just to sit and have one drink But several hours later, most of them can barely think The first one is so innocent, just mighty good to see Alright everyone, let's take a break! Here we go! 
So if we can thank Ray again, yeah? Okay, it's funny is that I don't realize Ray is my nephew, and it, I'm proud to be up here with family, so let's give away some awards. I've been asked to give away the best local school music program, probably because he figured I'm one of the only ones that graduated high school. Yeah, okay. And uh, we all, all musicians, you guys got your start in high school. I did, Milford High, yeah, Milford High, let's hear it, sure. we were way back. Now I'm a drummer from Milford High, been playing, I played for, uh, with the fire pipe and drum, so we all got our start in high school, so I want to give these kids a round of applause as I call their names. Milford High School, Woo! Bellingham High School, Woo! Dean College, Woo! Franklin High School, and Medway High School. And the winner of 
the best local music program goes to Franklin High School. And you are? I am Ron from She's Late. Adam from She's Late. Hey, you guys look really familiar. Where do I know you guys from? Oh, uh, I think we were on uh, Milford TV at one time with your on your show. Oh yeah, you were on with Ray Osher, weren't you? Yes, we were. Yeah. How was that? It was awesome. Hey, let me ask you a question. What are you guys nominated for? We are nominated for Best Local Original Act. Who is the songwriter out of, out of all of you guys? I am the songwriter. You're the songwriter? Yes. Have you ever taken a lesson in your life? I've taken guitar lessons, but not on writing songs, no. Where does your inspiration come from then? Um, just from life experiences. Yep. Now, are you guys playing in there tonight? We are not going to play today. Oh, no. no you guys today. played last year, didn't you? We did last year. We played last year. All right. Well, hopefully you guys win. I'm, I'm really rooting for you. You guys are really, honestly, one of my favorites. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Guys, go inside and have some fun. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So, uh, best local musical by a performing arts center or school. And the nominees are Footloose, Milford High School, Legally Blonde, Enter Stage Left Theater, Oklahoma, Dean College, right, there you go. Uh, Broadway, A to Z, Milford Arts Center, and Beauty and Beast, Boston High School. And the winner is? Hey, on behalf of all the kids in the Milford Public Schools, thank you. I need your help to continue to inspire us because we know this is a fun. Hey, have a good night, everybody. Bob Chamber, ladies and gentlemen, he's in a great band called Fred Knott. They were nominated tonight. Make sure you check them out if you can. All right. Let's do one more award. Oh, my God. Can I get JK47 up to the stage? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. JK47 of Smear Campaign. I'd like to congratulate Scott McDonald, best male singer. And I want to make an appeal before all of you here tonight. We need a new category. Best male frontman. Me and Rich Tita will duke it out. Chip's not a frontman, he's a back woman. You know, I go to, uh, when I was a kid, I used to go to this place called Union Music. And uh, it was a little local shop. This was before the Walmart of uh, music came out, Guitar Center, right? Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Big Al, Big Al here with his wood. So, uh, you know, music shops. Some people go to the big conglomerate. Some people go to the little guy. That's what this award is about, the best local music shop. And the nominees for that best local music shop are as follows. Music and Arts in Milford. Larry B. Music Center in Bellingham, Mass. Blackstone Valley Music in Uxbridge. Barnstorm Music in Medway. And the Gig Stop in Uxbridge. And the best local music shop here in Metro West is Barnstorm Music in Medway. Unfortunately, they're not here, so I'm going to take this uh, award for Jed. Come on over. Welcome. What's going on? Welcome. What's going on, dude? Not much. All right. Introductions. Who is everyone? John Esposito, bass. Bass? bass. bass. John Paley, guitar player. Okay. And you guys are who? Also, we represent the Road Dogs, best rock, local rock band, cover band. Who do you guys, who do you guys like to cover? Ah, yeah, everyone. Led Zeppelin, 
Beatles, Stones, uh, Allman Brothers do a lot of Southern rock, a lot of uh, country, we do seven or eight country songs, try to mix it up, you know? Now let me ask you a question, this is for the both of you. Who's your best Beatle? I'll we'll start with him. <laughs> George Harrison. What is it? George Harrison. Okay, and you? Oh, Paul McCartney all the way. Paul McCartney is my favorite. Yeah. Gonna see him in Fenway? I saw him uh, in 09, so I might sit this one out, I think. Uh, right. I saw some tickets fall on my lap. You got any? The radio station have I, I bet Ray can hook you up if he really wanted to. <laughs> Go inside, get out of the rain, have some fun. Take care. Have a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our next performance tonight. John Paul Lilly Jr. Band, ladies and gentlemen.
We have help from Rust and John Esposito. John Esposito, come on up, sir. Let's hear it for John Esposito from Road Dogs. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I get asked to uh, announce the award for best local blues and R&B band. Here are the nominees. These guys played at Bogstock last year, put on a great show, Whiskey Tone. Saw these guys at the Hopedale Oktoberfest, the bass player kicks ass, I like bass players. And who's nominated tonight, Soul System L. A new band that can be seen in the west of Fitchburg area, making their way to us tonight here, Tony Soul, Delta Blues Project. Blake and Kate are uh, kindred spirits of mine and have a huge amount of experience around the country. They toured with Macy Gray, Little Feet, with Derek Trucks, Big Brother, The Holding Company. Uh, Kate appeared on the Conan O'Brien show with Ronnie Hawkins. Uh, just a year or so ago, they relocated, resettled back here in Holliston. The KRBT Band. These guys recently opened for Johnny Winters and hailed from Southbridge, the square the Spare Parts Band. Good luck to all nominees. Whiskey Tone. Thank you, everyone. All our fans, get up here. Best bass player, come on. What's going on? What happened? Whiskey Tone. What happened? Best R&B band. No way. Best way. We play R&B? <laughs> Thank you all. You're our fans. It's, up. it's you guys who did this for us. Thank you. Please make sure you come and see us if you have not seen us yet. Thank you so very oh, much. We love God. you. Oh, on behalf of the band and everybody, we are not worthy, but we love you. We love you so much. And on behalf of, on behalf of Deanna Brenetti, she's a smoking his <laughs> Whiskey Joe, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with best R&B act, Whiskey Tone. How's it feel to win tonight? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How long has Whiskey Tone been Whiskey Tone? Not even two years. <laughs> and this is our second year winning. Wow. So you guys must be pretty damn good. I'm, well, you're going to have to come and see us to find out, aren't you? Uh, yeah, you? Who says I haven't? You know, <laughs> come on. I'm that guy in the back always yelling free bird to you. <laughs> now, you got two winners in this band. You won best bass player. What a tribute. It is, and we've already heard from you. So we're going to stay on this side of the room here. How does it feel? Now, you're the drummer in the band, correct? You yeah. were nominated for best drummer. Do you feel left out like one of these kids is doing his own thing where these two got trophies and you don't, or are you just happy to be nominated? Yes, say yes. <laughs> Not at all, but that's a great question. I'm going to tell you why. Everybody, been, I have been nominated with some of the best local musicians and, you know, yep. That's right. And Bravo. it's so great. I feel wonderful. Yes. I didn't win, but it's okay. You know what? It shows, right. the, it shows the character of a man, not on how he wins, but how he loses. And you're handling it well. You're doing a great job. Yeah, he's a great I didn't guy. lose, he was but I play some great music. <laughs> come and see us at the Casbah. Yeah, this coming Friday this night Friday or night. Saturday at the post office man, pub and grand. I'm not a loser, but Whiskey let me tell you, we are going to swing. We are going to put you right in the pocket, and we are going to let you dance like no tomorrow. All right, get out there and swing with Whiskey Tone, ladies and gentlemen, at the Cas Bar. Go get him. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Hi. And you are? D David Knoyer. And what are you nominated for? Best guitarist. Cool. What kind of music do you play? Uh, it's all over the place. I play all, all kinds of music, you know, rock, blues, jazz, and... And I was uh, actually playing in the Peach Eaters quite a bit, f filling in for uh, you know people who are out, because th they have a, a, a quite a lineup, you know. And then I also play with the Bruce Marshall Group, and then um, Wiki Three, and I also do a solo act. I, I'm playing at Pajama Joe's uh, this Saturday coming up. I love it. You really stay involved. What's your favorite band? Favorite band? Wow, it's a lot. Uh, boy. You know, if I go back, probably you know, the Beatles, Rolling Stones, and all that stuff. The classics. We love the classics. Dublin, you know. Yeah. You know, all right. As far as you know, there's all there's all kinds of music. I I, I like it all. Yeah. Cool. I bet you want to get inside out of the rain, don't you? Well, sure. All right. <laughs> it's a good idea. All right. Go inside and enjoy yourself. <laughs> thank you. You too. <laughs> Big thank you to Brian Hall for giving me the strength and courage to come up here. 
Brian came out of the closet last week. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Best local mobile DJs. These are the guys that are, it's an all new rage. They drive up to your, to your house for $5. They roll down the windows and play whatever song you want. <laughs> Best local mobile DJs, here we go. Mike Tarara, Al Bigelow, Ron Auger, Jeff Roy, Royds, and Jim Martin. And your winner is... Thank you, boss. <laughs> Ron Auger. You're the man, Ron. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the red carpet. Um, we're standing here with a Milford legend, Mr. Ronnie Ozier. How are you, dude? Thanks, RJ. How you doing? Pretty good. Let me ask you a question. Yep. How did your DJing career start? Right here in this building, actually. In Penns? When it was Skate Palace. Ooh, I remember the Skate Palace. That was a fun place. 1978, I had just graduated Milford High School. It was uh -huh. my senior year. Skate Palace had just opened. I started skating here. One day a DJ didn't show up. Elaine Breen hired me. From there on in, it was history. So what has been the funniest thing you've ever DJed? Funniest thing? Well, I can't tell you here because we're on camera, but no, the funniest thing I... <laughs> honestly, the funniest thing I... Everything I do is fun. I just did a wedding last night and it was just a blast. You know? What, what kind of music do you like to play? I like to play anything that anybody will dance to and have fun to because the music that I like, people won't dance to. You do a lot of things with the schools, don't you? I do. In fact, coming up uh, this Thursday, I've got my Seniors Day Mock Crash, where we do the drunk driving recreation. Uh -huh. I've been doing that for about uh, 23, 24 years now. I'm going to dig a little deep right now. How did you get involved with that? Well, I am a retired firefighter. I've been an EMT for 32 years in this area. I've been working in EMS. I, I had to retire early, but I still stay active with what I'm doing. So I make sure that if I can do anything within the community, I keep doing it. You know, it's funny, well, hey, you know, you, you know how to say Ray's name, but you don't know how to say my name. I want to thank, you know, one person I got to thank for this is right here in this building, although she's not here tonight, and that's Elaine Breen, the owner here at Pins, her and her son David. I got my start back in 1978, 35 years ago, in this building, when it was the Skate Palace. I do it for a living now, and this shows that you guys, I appreciate it so much. You don't get to see many of my live performances, but if you want to come out and see me July 3rd, I'll be doing the Milford Fireworks once again down at Plains Park. We're going to party all night. Come on down and let's have some fun and welcome in July 4th. I'll see you on July 3rd. Thank you, everybody. All right. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that was not fixed because I voted for Jeff Royds, so that was not fixed. My vote, vote for, was for uh, Jeff Royds. Hey, uh, I want to thank Jeff Royds for doing the VIP suite interviews for the winners. Put your hands together for another guy that supports local music, Mr. Jeff Royds. Where's Mikey McEwen? Mikey, come on up. Ladies and gentlemen, the new lead singer of the new band Slack Jaws. Let's hear from Mike McEwen, ladies and gentlemen. All right, two-fisted, two-fisted tonight. All right, it's a little late. Could everybody please raise them up for WMRC and yourselves for being here tonight. Second year for me, great time. Ray, good friend, good times. All right, enough of that. <laughs> I am doing the best local tribute act the nominees are American Hellbelly, Government Surplus, Applied Science, The Peach Eaters, and The Great Escape. And your winner is... The Peach Eaters! Jim Sullivan? These boys want to rock, so I just want to say thank you. And uh, it's a peach world. We, uh, we love to play this music. 
of the Allman Brothers Band for the people that love to hear it. And uh, it's a very, very magical experience each and every time we get to share the stage with each other and our great friends. And uh, even tonight, there was a young lady who told me that um, the Allman Brothers Band means the world to her because it was her parents' favorite band. So everybody's got a story. We'll be short. God bless the Allman Brothers Band, and we're going to keep working as hard as we can for y'all. Thank you. I'm here with the Peach Eaters. They just won the award for Best Local Tribute Act. We've interviewed this man here before. We all know Alex. He won Best Drummer. Now you got an award for the best band. How does that feel? You guys are just like kind of sweeping the categories here. It feels awesome. We're not we're not sweeping anything, but we're making our presence felt. And it, it, believe me, it feels good to get some acknowledgement and know that people are out there listening and enjoying what we're doing. Because we, we love doing it. Now the Peach Eaters are an Allman Brothers tribute band, correct? That's right. That's right. How long have you guys been around? Over 10 years now. And you do anything, you know, you're a keyboardist, also one best keyboardist. Yeah. So every award that somebody in your band has been nominated for, you guys have won. Uh, that, that's probably true. That's an excellent, it's got to be a good, it's got to be a good feeling inside. Oh, absolutely. We love it. We love it. Alex, how does it feel to be a two-time winner tonight? I, I think just for our local friends and our fans, like I had said before, to keep coming out to see us. They're part of our family. We don't call our fans our fans. They're part of our family and they're friends and at the end of the day, it really is about the music of the Allman Brothers Band and it's magic and we we love it. Every show is different and it gives us a chance to share their message with people who want to hear their music. So now when you say they're part of the family, they're not the family members that you see like only on holidays and funerals and stuff like that, right? No, they're the good weekend families? We, the weekend families and a lot of times, you know, through the week, a lot of times, you know, like Rick was saying yesterday, we'll be on vacation somewhere with our families. He was up in Maine and somebody said to him, hey, don't you play in the Peach Eaters? And, you know, you get, go around to different places and it really is. It spreads the message and we're happy to do it. We, we love it and we're going to keep working hard. Excellent. Well, congratulations Thank again and congratulations to you, so sir. Peach so Eaters, much. check them out. You boys ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited. First of all, I'd like to say, I want to say this before I forget. There's all these things I wanted to say tonight. But you're up here, you got the lights on, you, everyone's staring at you. I forget what I want to say. But I'm so happy to see bands, speaking of, in the category with these guys, national touring bands like Akaro here tonight. Let's hear for Akaro. Traveling around the country. Making some time to hang out with us tonight. I love seeing bands like, also in their category for best metal band, Guys like Mickey Sin from V, we are looking forward to hearing V real soon. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Center Link. Say what I never could say before 
Hey, I'd like to take a minute to um, thank a band for their, they just, they just separated, they just parted ways, but they brought us so much joy over the last few years, and I know a few of the members are here tonight. I want you all to put your hands together for Pop Rocks, ladies and gentlemen. Those guys, individually and girl, those guys and girl individually, are gonna move on and do great things in our area, and we are looking forward to that band splintering off into even better bands. But we wanna thank Pop Rocks for all that they did. Introductions, who is everyone? Fred Knott. Uh, no, names. Mark, uh, Mark. <laughs> names Fred Knott. Uh, Chetty. Peter Mirages. All right, and Mr. Trembley, what are you doing here? RJ Shitty, again we meet. What are you doing here? I'm with the band. This band? We're, yes, we're a band. Frank you're, Knott. You're willing to be shown with these guys in public? Absolutely. <laughs> you're willing to be shown with me in public. Okay, what are you guys not... in public, but yeah. Okay, what are you guys nominated for? He's in charge. What are you, guys, what are you nominated for, Mr. Trembley? Uh, uh, rock, best rock, rock, rock pop cover, cover band. Yeah. Who do you guys like to cover? We cover uh, everything. Yeah, 70s, 80s, 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 90s. Southern yeah. Rock, yeah. Grateful uh -huh. Dead. Basically whatever we can sing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, tonight, best stage performance by a local act. Nominees. Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily is the official Jägermeister band and needs no introduction. They're nominated in four categories of tonight's awards. American Hellbilly. Neither living nor dead, these six undead souls can never find peace. Child's Play. Their groupies dance, they sing their cute asses off and drink with the best of them. What nominee wouldn't love groupies like that? Smear Campaign. Smear Campaign is built to fulfill the primal urge to party. And Mass Octane. Mass Octane plays the music that makes you want to dust off that old pair of ripped jeans and find a can of Aquanut hairspray. Here are the nominees, and the winner is... <laughs> Best stage performance of the local act, Smear Campaign. Hey, so, uh, thank you very much. We put a lot of work into our show. I just want to say that. And one guy that doesn't get a lot of uh, recognition this guy right here, Dan Spinney, helps us do this show that we do. We call him lights as shit. Dan, you want to say something? Yeah, no, way to go, Dan. So uh, we put on a show. When we started out, the only thing we wanted to do was we wanted to put together a show that was memorable. That's why we get the lights, the fog, Spinney. We treat him as a, 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 he's a member of the band. He's not just a sound guy that we hire. So uh, we felt that that was very important for the show. We call them lights and and uh, we couldn't do without them. But thank you so much for coming to see our show. It means nothing without you. You guys are styling, guys. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Who coordinated this outfit you guys got going on? Striper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. It goes back All to right. Jay's lifelong love affair with Striper. It does. <laughs> really? So, who are you guys nominated for? Uh, we are nominated for uh, uh, up to seven awards. I don't even know which one they are. but uh, Seven? We want the headliner. We're out for the headliner. You're out for the headliner. That's what we're out for. <laughs> wow. Now, what kind of music do you guys play? We play everything from James Brown to System of a Down. We get people dancing, moving, rocking, drinking beers. What was the best gig you guys played? Right here at Pins. All right, congratulations, Smear Campaign. <laughs> By the way, we have yet to give away the creme de la creme of awards tonight. The coveted headliner award, which those guys won last year. Who's going to take it home tonight? <laughs> Tollbooth Willie? Perhaps. Teeter Totters? Perhaps. V? I don't know. Let's stick around for the end to find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this guy I've been working with for a long time now. He is the... Uh, Here's the reason why a lot of local bands are where they are. He's out there promoting with the best of us. He started up, he founded NEGB1.com. I know Centerlink is a big, big uh, part of uh, NEGB1.com. 
He has moved on to bigger and better things. We want to thank him for his support. We want to thank her for her support because behind every good man is a better woman, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff and Cassandra Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. You're right. We are here to give the award away for best original act. Oh, I screwed up, so. Original acts, bands that write their own music have always been around since the dawn of time. And it's hard to come up with something original. And it's just been a great, great thing. Original songs are based on lots of things. People base them on government, political views, relationships. Being an original act also means you get to write kick-ass songs about one-night stands. <laughs> and that always inspires me, honey, to, you know, get myself tested at the local clinic. <laughs> and the winner is, the nominees, excuse me, for best original act, I've had way too many free Narragansetts. <laughs> best local original act, we were astronauts. Kate Russo. Something I've heard many a time, she's late. <laughs> Center link. I got five kids, yes I have. And the sheltered, formerly Ruff Ashler. They're not all his, but I just like the child support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the winner is we were astronauts! Woo! We'd like to thank you so much. We, we, uh, we really, all of us thrive off of the, uh, off of the local music scene. And, and uh, we've all come from, we, we've, we've come from all kinds of different backgrounds. And it, it's been so cool to get together and make music that you people dig. And we really appreciate it. Check us out, www.weweraastronauts.com, our, our debut album, Outside Boston. 50% of all sales go to, the, go to the, uh, the Greg Hill Foundation for Marathon Victim Relief. Check us out. Thanks again. Thank you, Ray Osher. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Woo! We were astronauts, ladies and gentlemen. Give me another round of applause. We are here with Best Local Original Act. No, you are not seeing things. These guys were up here before. This is We Are Astro We Were Astronauts, excuse me. Guys, congratulations on winning again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel to be two-time winners? It, it's awesome. Uh, we really like to congratulate Ray Oger for uh, putting together this awesome event. And uh, it's really cool that they're really appreciating uh, not only the local cover bands but and, and tribute acts, but also original music. We put a lot into uh, writing original music, and uh, we really appreciate it. It looks like you guys brought your fan base here, too. There's like cameras everywhere. It's all family. We'd like to thank our family, friends, and uh, anybody who comes out to see us, anybody who's purchased the album. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, whose basement do you practice in? We, we practice in Steven's basement. My aunt. Uh, he's poor my kid. Cousin. Yeah, relax. Poor parents. We want to thank Mrs. Paddock. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Paddock, for allowing them because it's your hard work that paid off. Guys, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you to all of you guys. Put this on. I've got one more award, then we're going to get to our next performer. Where's Biggs? Where's Chip? Chip and Biggs. Ah, oh, there he is, the man with the hat. Chip Childs, Al Biggs, ladies and gentlemen, presenting our next award. Okay. So, I don't, I honestly don't think there's anything better than metal. I mean, metal, metal is just, that's, that's what, that's what makes me groove, man. And I really appreciate it and I have so much respect for the bands that are out there doing this stuff, man. God bless you. We're, we're here to announce the best metal act, the best local metal act 
and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The best local metal act. Center, we get, you know, Centerlink is up for this awesome band. The nominees are Centerlink, Mass Octane, Stone Crusher, Akaro! Yeah, Jay Fitzgerald, he, he's, he's one of my idols. And V, so here we go. And the winner is... Sally, come on up! Come on, thank everybody. Thank you all for voting. Thank you very much. We weren't expecting this at all. Thank you guys, man. This means a lot. I mean, especially, I mean, I, I graduated high school three towns over, and there was nothing like this at all from like around where I was, you know. And, and even down, down where I live now, there ain't like this. It's just killer to see all you guys out here in support of local music, and we appreciate everything that everybody does. Thank you very much. I want to thank Ray and WMRC for blowing this up and having this every year and giving us all the opportunity to hang out and have a good time. Keep rocking! New CD, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Centerlink. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the award show. How are you? How's the energy so far? I'm loving it right now. All right, and you guys are who? We got Centerlink. What are you guys nominated for? Tell them. All right, uh, best original act, best metal act, best single, and best album. Four nominees. Four. Yep. You're bound to win one of them. It's sure thing. So who's the songwriter among all of you? Y'all are. All, are. all you guys write the songs? Yep. Where do you get your inspiration from? Anything that's metal. You like metal. Anything that's Any metal. Metal in the last 20, 25 years. Is all, it's all in there. Yeah. All right. And what's your signal that you're nominated for? Distant Voices. Distant Voices. Can we find that online anywhere? Yes, you can. You can find it online. You can find it on uh, YouTube under Centerlink Video, one word. You can find uh, Distant Voices. Very cool. That was Centerlink. Go inside and have fun, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I am here with Best Metal Act, my boy Centerlink. Guys, yeah! yeah! Right there, baby! Congratulations. Woo! How does it feel to win? Not only win, but you guys just performed, did a killer set song. And then you win Best Metal Act. Oh, it feels great. I mean, it's not something we really were expecting, but, you know, I mean, it's great to get that kind of recognition. How long has Center Lake been around? Uh, 2006. We formed early in 2005, but Billy came on in 2006. Now, you guys have had a lot going on. You just did a new CD, you got a new video out, and you got a really, really good response to the video and your music. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, we're actually getting a pretty good response, like in Texas and California and the UK, uh, even like Canada. It's almost we're getting like more love from the rest of the country than we are here from our own state. You know, what I mean, we have our fans here, which is great. I mean, you know, coming here to Milford, where you know, we kind of just basically kind of broke onto the scene when we first started here. But it's ever since we did that video, we did that album. I mean, it's just. It's blown up. I mean, it's everybody loves the album from beginning to end. It's not like one particular song is singled out. It's they love everything on it. Where can people find Centerlink? You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Reverb Nation. Uh, we are on Facebook at uh, backslash Centerlinked with an ED at the end. Uh, I said Reverb Nation. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're on Bandcamp. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other places. Yep, yeah, SoundCloud. We're on SoundCloud too. We're out there. All you gotta do is find us. And I just want to say we are very grateful to even be here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we're very extremely grateful just to even be a part of this tonight. I mean, this literally means a lot to us. We want to throw a shout out to Erica and Maddie Rizzuti, where if it wasn't for you guys, we would not be sitting here right now today. Thank you guys. You're Don't awesome. Never forget that. No. Ever. Have a forget. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Good Thank to see you. you. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Intr introductions. Who is everyone? The Bill McGoldrick Acoustic Duo, starring the lovely and talented Ms. Pamela Stiebler. Is this Ms. Pamela? Yes, this yes. is me. Hello, Ms. Pamela. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Let me ask you a question. What are you wearing? Uh, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Very nice. Okay, what are you guys nominated for? Uh, best Acoustic Act. Best acoustic act. Yeah, is this we won it last year? Oh, you won one last year. We did. Two times a charm, right? Yes, it is. All right. So, are you guys a cover band or original? We do everything, all of the above. Who's your favorite people to to cover? I don't know. Who's our favorite? I don't know. People seem to like Adele. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm that was a favorite. Adele. Adele. Yeah, All right. Smith, too. You like Aerosmith? <laughs> yeah, we do. Very nice. Go inside and have some fun. Get out of the rain. Good, how are you? Come on over. You guys are government surplus, right? We are indeed. Okay, and what are you guys nominated for? We are nominated for, I think it was jam band and tribute band. Who are you guys tributing? Uh, we are tribute uh, government mule. Government, government mule. mule. There's a, oh, I love the Armin Brothers. Let me ask you all. This is, a, this, is a, this is a group question. Everyone has the answer. Okay. Who's your favorite Armin Brother? Warren. Greg. Greg. You're outnumbered, dude. I know, Sorry. I know, I know. All right, go inside, get out of the way, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> We're gonna have a few more rounds to go, and then we're gonna give away the headliner award. But we have one more act, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for Lemon Surplus. <laughs>
would like to welcome to the stage or the podium now to present our next award. She is the hottest bartender in town. He is our galaxy's answer to Han Solo, Jay Pillarella, and Don Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, boys and girls, how you doing? Han Solo got nothing on me. Well, listen, next year I want to present world's tightest pants, and I know Biggs has that in the bag. All right, so, so what are we presenting here? Well, we are doing the best local jazz act. Jazz act, all right. What are the nominees? All right. Jesse Fontaine Trio. The Jerry Seco. Seco, seven, sorry. The Sea Jammers, Fantasy Big Band, and Eight Misbehaving. Wait a minute, that's not all, right? No, no, I mean, you're missing one major player here. We're talking about Ron Burgundy with the jazz flute. He's a fictional character. You watch your dirty pirate mouth. He's the anchor man. Justified. So tell me, who won? But Jesse Fontaine! Almost as good. Rock and roll. Hey, hey thank you very much. Uh, best uh, jazz act. All right. Hey, thank you. The trio couldn't be with me tonight. Uh, Mike's uh, somewhere in Nebraska. The guitarist and uh, the bassist is on, uh, on a tour right now. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate all the voting and your support. All right. All right, congratulations, Jesse. I love Jesse Fontaine. I love jazz. Get out and listen to some jazz, especially this guy here. I just want to thank Ray Ozier for putting this together. This music scene is awesome, and it's only growing. We want to thank him so much. A lot of time, money goes into these bands, so thank you for coming out and supporting them. Um, cover bands, shit, there's so many of them around. There's so many. I think... Um, what separates these guys from the rest of the pack is their ability to connect with their audience. Uh, the costumes they wear, uh, the songs they pick, their talent, the songs they choose. Uh, we can't thank them enough. I'll have Chris Randall read off the nominees. Best Local Cover Act nominees, Child's Play, Smear Campaign, Latino Totters, Tiger Lily, and the Road Dogs. And the winner is Tiger Lily! Yes, Tiger Lily, congrats, guys! Thank you for everybody that voted for us. We work hard at it and try to anyway. All right, we're good. Thank you very much, everybody. Anyway, I would like to present a very special award tonight. To this is a special award for the uh, local music's greatest fan. Local music's greatest fan. This guy is at every show. You know him, you love him. Once in a while, you gotta buy him a beer so he'll stick around, but that's okay. Because he's out there supporting local music. We love him. Ladies and gentlemen, for excellence in supporting local music, I would like to give this plaque and award to our good friend, mine and yours, Mr. Timmy.
take the condom off now. All right, last year, the band you're about to hear were the recipients of the Headliner Award. This award here embodies local music. This says it all. This is the band or performer that is out there pushing themselves, promoting themselves, kicking ass on the stage. You love this band because you guys voted for them. It could go to anybody. Every year it is brought back here and we put a new name on it. Are you guys ready to find out who won? The 2013 recipient of WMRC, LMA. 